Look, selling on eBay doesn't have to be hard. A lot of people want to know, you know, how to make money online. And eBay selling is a way of doing that. It's really easy, actually, and anybody can do it. And I hope that this channel not only serves as, a, as an entertaining channel for what we find in storage units, but I hope that it also serves a purpose to give someone else drive and hope to even make extra money from home or make extra money just selling on eBay or even making it a full-time income because that is possible. I guarantee it's possible. I do it. And if I can do it, I know anybody can. What's going on guys? It's Jason Thrift Trader. I know it's been forever. It's been forever. It's literally been two months since I've posted a video on our YouTube channel and for that I am sorry. So with that being said, I want to run you guys down a little bit with what the heck Thrift Trader has been up to. Hot Sauce and I have been buckling down on selling on eBay. We got a couple shipments to Amazon and uh, we've really just been focusing on making money. At the end of the day, when you're in business for yourself, sometimes you have to take a step back and figure out what is actually making you money and focus on that, especially when you get a little tight on funds. And uh, you know, for those of you that don't know, Jessica and I, we went to uh, eBay Open this year in Las Vegas. Great time. It was a lot of fun. We did take a lot of video, but unfortunately, the video was just bits and pieces here and there, and it didn't jive very well, so we did. We decided not to make a video uh, for YouTube. Other than that, Vegas took a lot out of us uh, financially. It was a lot of fun, but when we got home, we simply had to take a step back, figure out what was making us the most money, and focus on it. And that's why we haven't been on YouTube. But but I vow, this is my vow to you guys, I vow to do my very best at making more videos, posting them up for you guys. At the end of the day, we do YouTube not as an income, okay, because let's face it, our channel's not large enough to, you know, make bukus of money. It's not a primary source of income for us. So because of that, as an entrepreneur, I had to take a step back and prioritize what's making us money and what's not and focus on what was making us money at the time. I hope you guys understand that, uh, which I'm sure you guys do, but that's where we were. Now, with that being said, eBay has taken off for us. We are making a lot of money. In the past 60 days, we've made over $13,500 in sales and that is amazing in the past two months i know that we can do better and we're working on that as well but i just simply want to get back on youtube it's a passion of mine i absolutely love showing you guys what the heck i'm doing and because of that i'm just going to incorporate it in my everyday adventures it's not always going to be storage unit stuff but it is always going to be some sort of reselling adventure so for instance Today, we are going to show you 20 packages being shipped out today. 14 for eBay, 4 for Poshmark, and 1 to Declutter and 1 to Eagle Saver. And I'll talk a little bit more about Declutter and the Eagle Saver here in a little bit. That's what we're working on today. And we're doing some more work out here in the shop, getting the shop ready for a big yard sale next weekend. And uh, I'll bring you guys along for that as well. So, again, I'm sorry for the hiatus and I will make sure to post more videos and be more persistent for you guys because I know I know you guys want to see what the heck I'm up to so hey by the way what do you think about this t-shirt guys hmm I'm going to actually get these available for sale pretty soon and I'll let you know when I do so if you guys want one of these t-shirts soon I'll have a means for you guys to get one so look out for that anyways guys let's get to it We've got a lot to ship, and I've got a couple of other things I'm wanting to get done today, so let's take you along. 
All right, guys, so the first thing we're packaging up is this crazy looking light bright lamp. The funny thing about this is I actually had it in my yard sale, not realizing that it is actually worth money. And uh, it literally went through a yard sale, three different yard sales and never sold. So I looked it up on eBay and sure enough, the things sell for nearly 60 bucks. As a matter of fact, we got uh, $58.79 for this light bright lamp. So we're gonna package this sucker up. Next up is this awesome G.I. Joe number 26, a real American hero comic book in excellent condition. I'm not a comic book grader, I can't tell you. All I know is the corners are good, staples are good, the front and back cover is good, uh, and the pages are good. So I don't know what you would call this. I mean, this is probably near mint, near mint, but we got $18, $18.07 for this. And I'm gonna show you guys how I plan on shipping these. I've shipped several comic books this way and haven't had any issues at all. So I get just a couple pieces of cardboard and I'll set this right in the middle and I'll sandwich the cardboard together like this, tape all four sides and I'm gonna put it in this envelope here. And then I'm gonna put a fragile sticker and a do not bend sticker on it and it will go no problem just fine and it'll get to my buyer uh, unscathed so that's how i ship comic books and uh, it's the cheapest way possible it'll go first class package and uh yeah awesome all right so next item up we've got a men's size extra large sims fishing guide here's the brand tag it's similar to columbia pfg um, these for some reason I bought two of them at the thrift store and they went very quickly uh, the first one sold within uh, just a couple of days for $35 on this one we got $31.62 size extra large like I was saying kind of a burnt orange color so how I'm gonna package this up is I'm going to Fold it neatly, put it in this Ziploc bag, and this will go first class. So I'll put it in this nice little green envelope here, weigh it, put the weight on it, and we'll be ready to go. All right, next guys, I've sold a pair of women's bionic sandals. Uh, these I picked up at the Goodwill bins for like two bucks. These sold for $27.11, and they'll actually go first class, so I'm gonna put them in this envelope, and it'll just barely go first class like 15.4 ounces all right guys next we've got uh two of these dell toners um, i sold them together um multi-quantity listing the person bought both of them um for a total a total of 90 dollars 38 cents and they're going international so through the global shipping program what i plan on doing here is literally taping these two boxes together and sending it just like this. It'll probably be more like that. Tape them together and we'll send them just like this. And just like that, it's almost like it's one big box. Got them packaged up, got the dimensions here. Now I know it weighs more than five pounds so I have another scale over there that we'll have to use to, to weigh it. But this may go um, FedEx instead of uh, priority mail with USPS, I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to find out but anyways it's done on to the next next is another comic book the uncanny x-men number 142 from 1980 this thing sold for 45 dollars and 19 cents so we're going to get this sucker packaged up and on its way all right next we have a pokemon blue version uh, for nintendo game boy and this sold for $19.59 free shipping. And we're about to get it packaged up. I'm just gonna put it in this little ba uh, bubble mailer or the bubble protector sleeve and then this bubble mailer. Next, we've got a set of six uh, Bob Dylan cassettes. Um, all of them made by Columbia. We've got uh, the free willing, bringing it all back home, time out of mind. Uh, good as I've been to you uh, this one is saved and highway 61 revisited I sold them as a lot 
all six of them and we got $22.53 out of these and it's actually going international shipping so someone across the sea bought these so we're going to get them packaged up and these will go media mail all right guys this is an awesome comic the new mutants number 98 a huge key comic it is actually the first appearance of deadpool and uh this this is a very very nice piece right here matter of fact i probably could have made a lot more money getting it graded and selling it as a graded comic but at the end of the day i just didn't want to do it um this comic ungraded in the condition that it's in we brought $253.09 for this comic. So we're going to get this sucker uh, in the mail. Next is a Lucky Brand Abbey Road crossbody purse or satchel, whatever you want to call it. This thing sold very quickly for $48.99. Another storage unit find. And uh, this thing is it's pretty neat. I mean, course it's uh it's a women's uh satchel but there it is lucky brand it's made of italian leather very very soft leather i think it might be napa leather anyways we're gonna get this thing packaged up next we've got a empty bottle of patron silver but this isn't just a normal bottle it's 2015 limited edition one liter bottle and it's uh actually uh numbered here hand numbered and uh this thing sold for $34.29, another storage unit find, pretty cool. Um, don't discount used liquor bottles because, I mean, of course, they have to be sent and sold empty, but some liquor bottles are very collectible. And this, I mean, 35 bucks nearly. All right, next we have a pair of these Women's Bed Stew Cobbler Series uh, booties. And uh, they got the side zip here. Probably about a two, three inch heel. Um, these are handcrafted. And uh, yeah, you can see there it says handcrafted. These sold for $46.99. And the discoloration, that is intentional. Um, just so that you guys know. But uh, they're supposed to look kind of like a vintage-y uh, look. But yeah, nearly 47 bucks for these. Not a bad flip. Found these at the Goodwill bins for $2.00. All right, guys, we sold this pair of Johnston & Murphy Passport Saddle Oxfords. Sold them on eBay for $19.88, and we're going to get them boxed up, and they'll be good to go. All right, last for eBay today, we sold this pair of Men's Born Athletic Oxfords. We got $18.07 for these and uh they'll ship priority in this box so we'll get these boxed up all right guys so our first order on poshmark is a pair of brown suede michael kors women's riding boots these sold for 25 dollars. so after uh the buyer pays the shipping so 25 bucks is what came through so we'll get 20 dollars uh, after it's all said and done and we're going to just ship it in this priority mail shoe box and away it'll go. Next Poshmark listing that we sold was this men's J. Crew uh, chambray shirt. Uh, this is actually a really nice shirt. It took every bit of me to not keep it, except, well, it's size small. I wear a medium. But it's really nice. We got $20 out of this. Um, so after Poshmark takes their 20%, we'll get $16. Bucks. Not a bad flip. All right, next on Poshmark. We sold a pair of Women's American Eagle Super Stretch Jeans. These sold for $19, so we get $15.20. $15 and uh, these will go priority, of course. Everything Poshmark goes priority. So we'll get these packaged up. All right, guys, so last but not least for Poshmark, we've got a pair of Men's Born Twain Chucka Boots, dark brown. These sold on Poshmark for full asking price of $35. So we're gonna get $28 when it's all said and done. So we're gonna package these up and then we're gonna move on to Eagle Saver and Declutter and I'll show you what we got there. So some of you may have heard of Declutter. It's a place where you can sell uh, CDs, DVDs, Blu-ray and video games. And uh, I believe maybe even books. No, I don't think you can sell books on Declutter. But anyways, 
it's where you can sell a lot of electronic media and uh, they don't give you a whole lot but if, it, if you have no other place to sell them it's really a good alternative but this particular package is going to eaglesaver.com which is the same as declutter except they do accept books as well but this package that I've got for them has uh, CDs and DVDs um, let me see how many items I can't even remember uh, don't know how many items but this is our total here $56.61 so I've already got them in the box I'm just gonna put some padding here add the packing slip and I've got the label printed off and off it'll go and uh, it's free shipping free shipping they actually uh, provided the label so what I did was I scanned these on both Eagle Saver and on declutter and I went with whichever one gave me the most money and these of course were giving me more money on Eagle Saver so I am sending these to Eagle Saver and the others I got more money on declutter and I'm gonna send the others uh, to declutter and I'll show you that package here in a minute all right guys so here's the box that's going to declutter 111 items and uh, the grand total here is uh, I can't remember but it'll be on the screen it'll be on the screen somewhere over here I think so 111 items CDs and DVDs all going to declutter 50 something dollars I believe if I remember correct but yeah like I said it'll be up here on the screen for you guys okay so now that we're done with shipping on eBay uh, we're gonna come out here to the shop and do a few things right now I'm trying to get this shop uh, reorganized and situated for a yard sale um, and I plan on trying to have yard sales throughout the winter months as well because check this out I actually have a big uh, ceiling uh, hanging heater here so this uh, this shop can stay heated and wouldn't that be something if I was able to advertise a yard sale stay saying you know indoor yard sale don't mind the cold it's gonna be nice and warm in here you know so who knows it may go well it may not if it doesn't well I'll just have to stack back yard sale stuff for the springtime anyways guys look selling on eBay doesn't have to be hard a lot of people want to know you know how to make money online and eBay selling is a way of doing that it's really easy actually and anybody can do it and I hope that this channel not only serves as a as an entertaining channel for what we find in storage units um, but I hope that it also serves a purpose to give someone else drive and hope to even make extra money from home or make extra money just selling on eBay or even making it a full-time income because that is possible I guarantee it's possible I do it and if I can do it I know anybody can so anyways guys this is what we're about to do check this out all right so right here is a bunch of wood kind of stacked well it's not stacked I mean it's screwed in it's put in place here because this shop used to be a glass shop like a, a glass business and uh, this is where they would literally stack their glass you can see some glass sitting right there and I don't need this anymore so we're gonna just destroy it okay and make uh, make a little bit more square footage in this shop here so let's get to it all right I've got the sledgehammer and uh, I think we're gonna just start on this side I don't know if there's screws I don't know if uh, you know if they're nails it doesn't matter we're destroying it so I'm not trying to save any of this wood it's just gonna go into the burn pile piece down uh, looks like nails need to be careful not to uh, hurt myself there
Just barely nicked myself right there. Goodness. Man, that stuff's sharp. degrees outside here in Oklahoma with a relative humidity of about 86 percent so anything you do you need to drink water stay really hydrated because it's so warm and so humid that you could literally be sitting in the shade sweating it's that bad I just hope I don't find a snake under here I'll just leave this wood right up here. This looks all right. This ain't too bad. Let me show you. Once we get this up, we're down to concrete here. So it's gonna just make that much more square footage. I guess that's what, probably 30 square foot more right there. So yeah. Um, I gotta get this glass all hauled off into the dumpster this glass and this glass here too and then I got this pile of wood and this big old sucker that I need to get hauled out of here but yeah that's gonna add 30 square feet anyways guys let me um let me actually take you on a little tour of this shop real quick so really what I'm doing here that bin is just full of yard sale stuff I need to stage this is going to go yard sale real heavy iron and uh, bamboo uh, room divider and we're going to put this is going to be um, instead of the chore list <laughs> um, this is actually going to be hanging up on this wall here and it's going to have just uh, prices of things general prices for like clothing and stuff this clothing is actually listed on ebay um, this is stuff that I still need to go through. I mean, I know what it is. It's um, uh, a bunch of these, uh, what do you call them, wargaming figurines and stuff. But I need to put those back there. But um, all this is yard sale. This is yard sale. Look at how many Christmas ornaments I have. This all came out of the uh, big time gold storage unit. Um, this is not yard sale. This has got uh, jewelry in it. And um, this is not yard sale. None of this right here is yard sale. Nothing that's on the, uh, the shelves here is yard sale. So I got to box all that up and take it in there because I'm going to have just a bunch of yard sale stuff on these, uh, on these shelving units. Um, most everything on there is yard sale. But that dude right there, he's uh, he's mine forever. That guy is the one that told me to buy that uh, that gold and silver and diamond storage unit for 460 bucks. That dude right there. But um, anyways, let me show you what else we've got going on here. Uh, yeah, so right here, none of this right here is yard sale. Um, but I've got plenty of yard sale right here. Uh, this, all of this is yard sale. I need to unbox it out of this crib here or pack and play. 
I've got tons of clothing that's going to be yard sale, like three or four racks. This is just one of them. And um, over here, of course, you can see right here, I'm, I'm starting to stage this. This is all yard sale stuff here. All of this right here is yard sale. All of that is yard sale. Um, there are, I've got tons of VHS. I doubt that they'll sell, but they'll be in the yard sale. If they don't sell, I'll just give them uh, to charity. But um, right here, these Bose speakers are not yard sale. Nothing right here is yard sale. Um, this is stuff that's going to go to eBay. Um, this stuff right here in these books are going to half price books. I'll double check and see what I might be able to get from uh, Declutter or another book buy, uh, buyback service on those. Um, this stuff is eBay. And uh, all of this right here is eBay. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. How can, uh, how can Beanie Babies be eBay? Well, when you have like 200 of them, you can lot them all up and sell them all together. Um, but yes, these Bose speakers, believe it or not, um, a little bit of cleanup is necessary, but they do work. Um, these sell for $350 for the pair. So I'm excited to get those listed. And um, so, yeah. Anyways, guys, like I was saying, I'm like dripping sweat and I've only been out here for like 15 minutes. The goal here is to get everything that's eBay. Um, everything that's eBayable in this back area. Let me show you this back area real quick. So right here is just tons and tons and tons of stuff. Everything like un unsorted inventory. This is just tons of inventory that I haven't been through. Okay. And I'm going to take you guys along some of it. I mean, we've looked through a lot of it, but we, uh, we definitely need to go through it again and I'll show it to you while we do it. It doesn't bother me, but all of these shoes, I need to condense them down on the racks. All of these shoes are listed on, uh, on eBay already. And uh, this clothing is actually yard sale. So a lot of this will move out into the yard sale area. Um, and the stuff that's eBay will stay back here. And this is also going to be my eBay inventory room as well. And everything else. Um, this whole area right here. This whole area is going to be just one great big yard sale uh, barn pretty much and uh, that's what we've got to look forward to anyways guys what I'm gonna do the rest of the night is I'm gonna grab all that wood and the glass and get it thrown out and depending on what time it is I'm probably gonna do some more organization in here and uh, getting getting more things staged um, I don't think you guys want to see that all right <laughs> But feels good to be back on YouTube. I'm sorry again for the hiatus. I hope you uh, understand. And just know that I'm here for the long term. I'm going to try my very best to put out a video as often as I can. Hoping every day, you know. Um, just takes time. And I need to devote a couple of hours every day to it. Guys, it's just a matter of time management at this point. Everything's good. We're doing great. I'm excited for things, okay? Oh, something else. Um, this this bad boy right here is still plumb full. I've got four storage units in there that we've got to go through. So it's not over. I promise you it's not over. Matter of fact, I'm hoping early next week we get to start going through that. So I got a few things to do before then, but we're going to get to it. Absolutely. Anyways, guys, I'm going to quit rambling. Love y'all. Thank you so much for watching this crazy video and if you haven't yet please subscribe plenty more to come we've got a journey ahead of us and uh, would love for you to be a part of it so subscribe hit the bell so that you get notifications and until next time keep on picking that trash and making that cash have a good night